after all the different food I tried as I grow up, somehow at the end of the day, I'm still looking for comfort food. And to me, comfort food is great. Hi, um, I'm Gavin, uh, the third gen owner of this shop, Lake Lim Nonia Cake Confectionery. This business was started by my grandfather in the 60s and it started out as a kampong kitchen. The main reason is because there was a need for survival. My grandfather's business failed and uh, he happened to know uh, Nonia who actually taught him and my mom all her recipe. In 1979, we came here and we, this shop has been here since. Back then, before I joined this company about 10 years ago, I was in the oil and gas industry. Why I joined this company was because we noticed there's lesser shop that's actually being handed over to the next generation and to still do the kueh. Over the years, we've been updating our menu. During the baby boom years, we started to introduce Ang Ku Kueh. We have actually so-called rojak a bit with our local taste, local ingredients. So mainly the main difference will be uh, coconut milk and the shape is different. When we first started by the Peranakans, for baby full month, there's only one shape, whether regardless of boy or girl. So it's only about 20 years ago where this company got very creative and started to introduce different shape for different gender. In a way, it helps the host and the guests, so they don't have to keep on repeating it's a boy or girl, boy or girl. They so just, just look at the angu kueh. If it's a pointed, sharp pointed one, it's a boy. And if it's a hum with all the lines, it's a girl. For angu kueh, it's not just mixing everything together and then just mix it with water and all. Too much hot water, it's too sticky. Too little hot water, it's not sticky enough and you can't wrap it. We mainly have three fillings. The first one would be mung bean, peanut and coconut. To prepare the bean paste before we can use it, we need to soak in the bean overnight, steam cook it, stir fry them. It, it basically, you can't, you can't cook it until it's dry. Because once it's dry, that means it's, it's gone case, you start all over again. For bean paste and peanut, it's red colour. And for the coconut, there's no standard colour and it has been so since way back then. Why we didn't go into other flavours is that it, it adds a lot of complexity into our, our menu. I don't see myself as an kueh shop only. I see more of a general nonya kueh. Seven to eight years back, we started to experiment on producing sun kueh, making sun kueh. Because of change of taste, change of taste preference and all, people eating less sweet, and going more for savoury style. So that's when I noticed uh, Kueh has been selling better and better every year. We go into halal because we know that there's more and more Muslim customers trying to eat kueh. We used to produce everything here, but then uh, about three years back, we managed to get a central kitchen, just three minutes drive from here. So we moved a lot of our production over there. For someone trying out our kueh for the first time, how would I describe it? It's mostly sweet, but it's not overpowering. It has coconut milk taste, so it's very fragrant. It's quite chewy, a little bit elastic, but when it's not sticky. So when you swallow it, you'll notice that it'll go very smoothly down your throat. I wouldn't say that mine's definitely the best, but I know that I've done the best for my kueh, and it's really up to each and every one of you to decide for yourself.